hey guys welcome back this is dead boil and um, today in today's video guys we are going to build our talent tree now so before we start building that i would just want to inform you that uh, if you are new to the channel if you're watching this video for the first time i insist you guys to subscribe to the video i mean to the channel and like the video and click on that bell notification for further updates and uh, if you have uh, not seen my earlier videos and if you want to explore my channel a bit more then i will paste a few links to my recent videos which i've uploaded you can just go on there and you know, have a look at them as well so getting on to the topic of today's video is building a right talent tree now you know there are a lot of questions out there you know on how which nodes are better and uh, you know basically what is the perfect way to build a talent tree well let me tell you something guys that there is no such thing that as a perfect talent tree you know you you need to build it according to your main characters now i mean if you have a fully maxed out account with all the diamonds that are maxed out then this talent tree you know won't really matter because you can then beat any opponents that come across but if you have uh, you know you don't have that uh, fully maxed out account and if you are a beginner or if you are in a moderate player and if you have a few diamonds but not all of them if not all of them are not maxed out then this talent tree will obviously come in handy now so the first thing that uh, we, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the best nodes so the best nodes in the talent tree is obviously on the defensive side which is revenant and shinox teaching uh, revenant is basically you know they will give you a five percent a ten percent chance to be reduced to one percent hill point and gain five seconds of invulnerability i'm sorry invulnerability and uh, after that the next talent is shinox teaching now four percent chance to apply bone shield now these two talents are basically the game changer you know and uh, the rest of them you know might not be that handy in the match but revenant and shinox teachings are the best nodes that you have to unlock in your talent tree you need to have them guys you need to have them you need to have these two in your talent tree so uh yeah without wasting any time i'm going to start unlocking my talents and uh we will also discuss that uh, you know how which of the other oh i'm, I'm sorry so uh, yeah so the first thing that uh, what we need to do is we need to you know see that which of the other talents will prove good for you because you know i know everybody has a different team and everybody has a different style of playing so accordingly but this uh, talent show that i'm going that i'm going to make will be the basic tree which probably will help my account might be your account might be a bit different from mine so yeah let's begin let's begin let's see what are our talents so it's five percent max health boost bear stance rhino stance is four percent less basic attack damage and it's four percent resistance to all debuffs now so basically this uh, first uh, talent which we are going to unlock will be useful in any mode of the game whether it be faction wars or whether it be you know challenges or any towers so what i would like to do is i would like to increase my health because obviously you know five percent max health on any of the game modes will always be useful so i'm going to acquire this one five percent max health boost and guys the thing is that i'm just going to fill one pip because that's more than enough you just have to unlock them and you know then later on if you have got a lot of uh, talent points then you can take them to four or five pips four pips i'm sorry so our next talent will be let's check it out intimidating presence four percent opponent unblockable attack chance reduction stalwart defense four percent opponent critical hit chance reduction and reverse armor four percent chance of lethal blow immunity all right so uh, you know as far as my account is concerned i would like to tell you guys that my account 
has not got a lot of diamonds in it so you know there are only a few characters or gold characters that are maxed out so i mean if your gameplay is good and according to my gameplay my gameplay is pretty good so i would say that a lot of times i'm able to block the attacks so four percent opponents unblockable chance reduction or stalwart defense this is this is not what i want to do guys four percent opponent critical hit chance reduction this is not what i'm going to use in my talent tree i have to choose between reaver's armor or intimidating presence so well i guess i'm going to go with reaver's armor because i need four percent chance of lethal blow immunity because lethal blow can you know knock out your opponent so i'm going to take that all right so uh, let's move on to the next tier which is oni's blood oni's blood is blocked basic attacks deal 10 percent less damage which is okay blocked special attacks deal 12 percent less damage all right centurion defense four percent chance to reflect so guys this is probably never gonna happen you know this the chances are pretty low four percent chance to reflect hundred percent damage from unblockable attack so this is a waste so i would suggest that you don't use this but instead i would like to go with this one because you know we usually get hit by special attacks and uh, 12 percent is a decent amount it's not huge it's not less but it's a decent amount so i'm gonna go with uh, shokin dominance where we will get our when we get hit by special attacks we will deal 12 percent less damage so i'm gonna acquire this and as i said guys i'm gonna only fill one pip because because as you guys can see you know there is just two percent of increase and uh, i would really not waste my talent points on this so we got shokin dominance and then our next talent Let's check it out. Art of the Shield. 4% Shield Break resi Resistance. Which is not useful. Not useful, guys. Minus 20% Power Drained from your characters. Alright, looks good. If you take critical damage, gain 10% of that damage as power. Alright. Ghost Armor. So, Art of Shield is... Which is waste. I would really not recommend doing that. I mean, adding that talent into your tree. OIA tech. So this minus 20% power drain from. So this is probably going to be useful for a few of them out there. Probably not. But I think I'm going to use this one. Ghost armor. If you take critical damage, gain 10% of that as power. So I'm going to acquire this, guys. Alright. Just one pip. Just one pip. Alright. Let's go ahead. Alright. Red Dragon Training. 4% stun, stun and power drain resistance. Incoming DOTs and Frostbite have 30% decreased duration this one looks good actually this one is good fujin's boom 10 percent chance to rinse duties on special attack use all right so red dragon training is a four percent stun to power drain uh four percent stun and power drain resistance now i mean if you are a good player if you're blocking and everything is good then you don't need this you yeah, know because then eventually you won't get stunned or power drained that often because if your blocking is good then obviously you don't need this so i would suggest that do not add this because i mean if your gameplay is not that good you get stunned constantly then you can use that but if you don't get stunned constantly then i don't think that's a pretty good talent that you need to unlock now cyber linkway programming now this is this one is good guys because you know we usually have uh, characters that give you frostbite and incoming dots which will have a 30 percent decreased duration so this one is good and Fujin's Boom is 10% chance to rinse duties on special attack to use. This is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this because this is a pretty decent talent. 
according to me. Your views might be different, but according to me, this is a pretty decent talent. So I'm going to acquire this. All right. There you go. Now, the best talent in the game is Revenant. Now, without even looking at the other talents, I'm going to acquire this Revenant on a player's death. 10% chance to be reduced to 1 health point and gain 5 seconds of invulnerability. Alright, this is what we always wanted. You know, this is something which can be called as the game changer for in a lot of matches for a lot of players. So there should be, you should have Revenant in your team, you know, on your talent tree. So there is no doubt about that. Alright, so uh, the next one is Shaolin's Last Stand. Now, we don't want this do we no we want this yes now after taking a damage from a special attack there is a four percent chance to apply a bone shield for five seconds without even looking at shaolin stand i'm gonna unlock shinnok's teachings this is again a game changer you know revenant and bone shield they are all game changing talents but again if you have a totally maxed out account with all the diamonds maxed out then obviously this talent tree will not make any difference but if you don't then this two talents revenant and bone shield will be of a great use all right now so we are done with the defensive side we are going to go on the offensive side of the game mantis stance blocked attack do two percent more damage lion stance one percent basic attack damage boost tiger stance 2% opponents, toughness ignored. Now, Tiger Stance is not that useful. Now, Mantis Stance will prove useful. Now, because we usually, when we do our hits, and if the opponent is blocking them, then they will do 2% more damage. And this will work in all the modes, in all the game modes again. So, I'm going to acquire this. So, guys, this is going to be a long video. Just stick around because this is going to be a bit informational as well for new players, especially who want to build their talent tree. All right, five more. Now let's see precision, opportunist, and gambler. Increase combo ender chances by ten percent. So guys, if you might be aware, uh, when you uh, do a combo, then there is a combo ender where you have to swipe left, right, or whatever the game says, and then there is a combo ender that uh, your character will give to the opponent. So that chances for that will be increased by ten percent. If we take position, opportunist, stunned and frozen opponents take 10% more damage. So if you stun an opponent or freeze an opponent, they will take 10% more damage. Actually, this is pretty good. And this will work in all the modes. Special attack, mini games receive a 12%. Uh, this is not useful, guys. So we have to decide between precision and opportunist. So... Uh, well, combo ender, I won't really go with that. I will go with this because we usually have, because in my team, I have characters like Scorpion. Inferno Scorpion is uh, the main character at the moment in my team, which does a stun attack in a special one. So for me, this talent is perfect. So I'm going to acquire this one. And again, I'm just going to fill one pip and that's it. So guys, as I said earlier, you know, you need to build it according to your characters that you have in your team, in, in, in the game. Killstroke. Let's see what this is. 11% special attack, 3 and X-ray, fatal blow attack damage boost. Well, we usually don't do that, don't do X-ray attacks that often, so I would suggest 10% uh, critical damage boost. Alright. 3% basic attack damage boost against enemies affected by fire, poison, bleed, DOTs. Alright, so I'm not going to use this one. I am not going to, probably going to use that one. But uh, kill stroke. Alright, so what I'm going to do is kill stroke gives you 11% special 3 x ray fatal blow attack damage boost, which we don't usually do in the game. And uh, I'm going to use this, guys. 10% critical damage boost. Because according to me, this is the right thing to do. Maybe you use special attack, special 3, quite often. You can then unlock a kill stroke. But if you don't, then I, I would suggest that this is something 
that you should have in, in your account in a talent tree. All right, rapid response: ten percent special attack, one damage boost. Ten percent special attack, one damage boost. Nice. Five percent critical hit chance boost. Not that good. Special attack damage increased by three percent against. No, not that good. Now rapid response is the best you can unlock. Best note that you can unlock in this show. Uh, offensive talent tower uh, talent tree because uh, this gives you 10% special attack one damage boost and nothing is specified that means you can you, this will happen in all the game modes in faction wars and challenges and battle mode everywhere so I'm gonna unlock this 10% special attack one damage boost I'm gonna acquire this all right moving on moving on guys I understand that this is a long video but it is worth it all right thunderous blow 10 percent special attack to damage boost which is pretty good critical hit gains two percent more power upon impact cruel affliction 12 percent fire poison bleed dot damage boost all right guys so now i as i said guys i'm i'm gonna unlock thunderous blow because uh we i i usually don't you know do special three that often and uh, 10 percent special attack to damage boost is uh, something everyone you know would like to have so i'm gonna acquire this because uh, this looks a lot better than the other two talents all right uh, the last i think it is uh, no not the last all right lightning blow three percent chance to disable all enemy special attacks three percent is pretty low guys you know three percent is pretty low and x-ray fatal blow attacks for five seconds on special attack one use no waste 22 percent chance of combo enders deal 20 percent damage to all targets well this looks good actually 10 percent unblockable attack damage boost all right now this this one is good actually you know this one is good so i have to decide between the art of tsunami and uh, unbridled savagery uh, now okay I, I wish i could have both of them but i could not because both of them look good so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to acquire 10 percent unblockable attack damage boost or the art of tsunami 22 percent chance combo dealer enders deal 20 percent damage all right guys i'm going to use i'm going to unlock the art of tsunami because this one I, I just feel good about this talent i mean your views might be different again all right and uh, the last tier has been unlocked all right brutal ending 20 percent chance special combo enders from select equipment will instantly defeat any opponent under 25 percent health and it's the death mark technique combo enders have a five percent chance to apply death mark to the opponent for 20 seconds disabling all forms of resurrection and increasing further damage taken by 10 percent stacking up to three times oh my god this is what you want death mark is you need to have death mark guys so i'm gonna acquire this all right so guys you know basically you know this talent tree i have made it according to my account your account might be a bit different again but uh, i hope that you figure out what you need and what you don't but according to me the talents that i've shown you you know they are pretty handy you know in a lot of accounts and most of the accounts these talents will come handy all right so i don't think that i have enough talent points to unlock uh, the support side but let's see okay so i'm sorry horse stance two percent power generation boost for inactive characters ten percent recovery boost stun now has a ten percent chance to apply shield break to the entire enemy team now again okay, all these three are waste it won't really come in handy but i think two percent power generation boost for inactive characters 
or mongo stance might be something that i would look to acquire so i'm going to acquire uh let's see two person power generation boost for inactive characters 10% recovery boost all right guys so i'm going to unlock 10% recovery boost and this is going to work in all the game modes and uh, this one would probably be a lot better than the other two horse stands and boar stands all right teamwork what is teamwork two person power spent on special and x-ray attack x-ray attacks is refunded to each inactive teammate two percent is very less guys don't go for anything which is less than ten percent teammates who tag in gain four percent increased power generation for ten seconds all unblockable attacks generate one percent more power all right teamwork is not good for me because i don't go for x-ray attacks that often iron fist is a very less percent chance to unblockable to generate power or unblockable attacks very less one percent is like nothing and then special op tactics teammates who tag in gain four percent increased power generation for 10 seconds so i'm gonna go with this because i don't have any other option that's why this one looks good actually all right tier three has been unlocked live for battle your special attack three or x-ray fatal blow attack cost 10 percent less power all right 10 percent life drain and regen boost four percent damage boost against resurrected enemies now we don't fight resurrected enemies that often you know once or twice in the five match quick battle in the faction wars i'm talking about so focused won't be that useful life for battle your special attack three or x-ray fatal blow attack costs 10 percent less power less power now i don't do those attack special three so for me warlock spell would be great 10% life drain and regeneration boost so 10% even if we don't look at life drain 10% regeneration boost will prove handy in any mode now the next tree the next tree is meditation combat veteran and unbreakable will your special attack one cost three percent less power every 750 points of toughness reduced critical damage by 0 0.2 0 0.2 is very less four percent cripple resistance now this one is good because you know we have characters that might cripple you uh, you know but uh, well unbreakable will looks a lot better than the other talents in this tier so i'm gonna unlock unbreakable will all right guys so i don't think that i'm gonna reach till the end but uh and i'm gonna play shao khan tower and i'm gonna try to unlock these two talents soon all right conditioning your special attack do costs four percent less power power drain has a 20 percent chance to snare this one is good four percent snare resistance no all right so let's take a look at it again your special attack to cost four percent less power all right so i do i have power drain characters i have kenshi and uh, johnny cage but i don't use them that often uh so i think i think if i mean if you guys if you have power drain opponents as your main characters in the game then this one is the best one that you can take because but but i don't have power drain upon uh, power drain characters in my team right now i'm gonna have them but uh, you know i don't have them fully maxed out so that talent won't be that much useful for me so i'm gonna go with conditioning because four percent chance to snare uh, four percent resistance i guess four percent snare resistance is uh, good but i think for me this one would prove a lot better your special attack two costs four percent less power i'm gonna acquire this all right guys so uh we are done with the points two more tiers are remaining 
so uh, let's just take a look at it three percent chance for your special attack one to cost no power three percent is a little less to i mean if you if you upgrade it later on the percentage will eventually increase two percent power spent on special and x-ray attacks is refunded to your active character two percent chance for a special attack two to cost no power this one is good guys you know because if you are not using x-ray attacks that often then you know adinia's champion will prove good for you i'm going to unlock adinia's champion if i had enough talent points then i would have unlocked adinia's champion 10 percent chance to reflect 100 percent special attack one damage while blocking Lin Kuei Revenant, Reverend, 4% chance to reflect 100% special attack to damage while blocking. Now these two basically are the same thing. Uh, there's just, they're just the difference in the percentage. There's a 10% chance to reflect special attack one, and there is 4% chance. So I would, I would really like to suggest that you go with Lin Kuei's Reverend because uh, this one is giving you a lot more chance. A lot, the percentage is a lot more than the. Uh, other talent, Shira Rayo's Reverence. So um, if I had enough points, I would go with Lin Kuei's Reverence. So with this talent, we are done unlocking, uh, building our talent tree. So, you know, in the future, if I have, as I said, enough points, I just need, a f I think, 15, 15 points, you know, 15, or oh, I'm sorry, 17 points to at least unlock them at, and fill them with one pip. So, uh, yeah. So, guys, if I hope you learned something from this video because this... The purpose of this video was to you know give you the basic talents that uh, you can use in any game mode and we did that and we did that pretty good and i hope you enjoyed this video again your views might be different because the accounts that uh, every person has they have different characters so according to that you need to build your talent tree so i built this talent tree according to my account and if you have any questions or any doubts you can just mention in the comments and we'll try to figure that out okay so if you have watched the video so far if you're ending the video with me so hey there, i just uh, hope that you like the video and channel. subscribe it and, and also and, uh, press this bell icon yeah let me know if you have any questions or any doubts so uh, until then guys you have a good day take care and see you soon in the next video bye bye